Hello there! In this tutorial, we are going to change the direction of light on an object, and that in a very fast and easy way. We are going to take this building and place it in this environment and change the light 180 degrees. Let's get started! We start by selecting with the rather new and powerful Select Subject. Bam! 5 seconds and we have masked the building. With the Move tool selected, we drag and drop the building in the airport image. And go directly to Perspective Warp in the Edit menu to adapt the lines of the little building to the new surroundings. We drag out the grid so it fits the corner precisely. And on the left side, we need a little overlap because of the roof. We drag out another grid, and it will automatically snap to the first grid when the line gets purple. Again, we follow the lines of the building, also the vertical ones. Now we go from layout to warp and we can try to match the perspective. I do it quickly this time because it's a short tutorial about lighting. We reselect the building by pressing Command on the mask, and with the polygonal lasso tool set to subtract, I draw a box around the left side, so only the right side are selected. Now we can choose levels or curves. I choose the more simple levels this time, because we need to add contrast and light to the shadow side. And levels do exactly that in a very easy way. Now it's time to darken the left side. We subtract the level mask from the building mask by pressing Command Option. On a PC it's Control Alt on the level mask after we have selected the building mask. And we can again choose levels, curves or brightness contrast. I choose brightness contrast because it's very easy to make it darker without adding contrast. We can temporarily turn off the level layer to match the shadow side. And afterwards turn it on again. To make the whole scene more realistic, we can add a directional shadow and a contact shadow. With the polygonal lasso tool selected, we can draw a shape of a shadow. Go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color, and fill it with a blue color. And multiply Blending Mode. Let's find a lighter and more desaturated blue. Like that. And add a little feather to the mask. Maybe a little down in opacity. Well, after I have made the contact shadow, I will decide color and opacity for both layers. Command J for copying the shadow layer. Again, the polygonal lasso tool and a selection where the building touches the ground. Press all the option on the mask to see the mask. Fill the selection with white, command backspace, select inverse, press X to switch foreground and background color. Again, command backspace to fill it with black. Now a new layer for some final details. Let's call it grass. And I paint some grass with my homemade grass brush. If you want to see how I made this custom brush, please check out the description for a link to that tutorial. Then a new layer for grass in the shade. Like that. 
and I drag a copy of my shadow layer to the top by Alt or Option dragging, turn off the mask by Shift clicking, and press Alt Option between the layers to clip the shadow to the grass. Let's remove the bright line in the middle. I activate the levels layer, the one with the bright side, click on the mask, find a regular soft brush, and make a small black dot in the top. Press Shift and another dot, and it's gone. Let's zoom out to check what's missing. Some feather in the mask. The opacity down. Maybe a brighter bright side. Oops, I forgot to flip the background image in the beginning of this case as I planned. The light is definitely not coming from the right side. Now I have to make the grass a little less present here. A little blur. And a little reduction in opacity. I think that's it for today, before and after. I hope you learned something, also not being so focused on the details that one loses the bigger picture. Please like, subscribe, add a comment, or ring that bell for future notifications. Thank you and goodbye.